I want to talk about the Xbox portion of the Xbox conference. Um, so this is just Xbox, okay? Let's talk Ooh, about... Oh, boy. Yeah. Th- I felt... I don't know about you guys, but I felt through this Xbox conference, all they talked about, or showcase, all they talked about is everything's available day, day one on Game Pass. Like, yeah, this was honestly. a huge Game Pass commercial. And they sold me. Like, I'm yes. already subscribed to Game Pass, but I mean, like, if, if coming out of this, for one, I think this was one of the strongest showcases yes. I've seen, period. Um, and two, if, you, if you're not even considering getting Game Pass after watching this, I, you're silly. Like, come on. Like, get real with it. Like, every, it, I it's, think... It's not even that, Steve. It's just, like, it, it, beyond just if you're getting Game Pass, it's, if you're not going to at least acknowledge that Game Pass mm, is just, sure. without a doubt the best deal the most consumer friendly yes. deal in video game history yes. i think you're absolutely out of your mind like it's <laughs> yeah. it's about time you throw away the console war debate you throw away the playstation versus xbox this pc master race that and just full on admit game pass is the best deal in absolutely. gaming absolutely yeah, yeah. I, I think- if i have game pass i'm going to be able to play back for blood starfield halo infinite just a heap of games day and date mm-hmm. on game yep. pass so i think out of ridiculous. 30 out of, out of 30 announcements that they made all together 27 day and date yeah. with game pass i'm, I'm pretty sure I, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so yeah like you said coming out of like the the console wars like if it's within your means and you like video games at all you you have to be a subscriber at this yeah. point like mm-hmm. there's so much going for this well, the the platform at this point and console this you're this just you're was just literally, lying to yourself well and i think this conference this showcase i have to stop calling it a conference it was a game showcase <laughs> um this showcase pretty much just said screw the console wars we're not talking about the console wars they could have showed so much yeah. stuff about the xbox and like had b-roll about the xbox series right. x power yeah. they didn't it was just all about game pass xbox we have spoke mm-hmm. about it before on the squad cast how we think that's their focus they solidified that focus with this game showcase completely yep. so some yep. of the it- titles that are coming to game pass yakuza like a dragon mm. back for blood starfield mm-hmm. stalker 2 halo oh, infinite man. hades slime rain Nature 2, which that game, um, Psychonauts sure. 2, The Outer Worlds 2, Microsoft Flight yeah. Simulator, For Horizon, um, Forza Horizon 5, and Among Us are just some yep. of the games. Like, those are top tier yeah. games yeah. that I'm going to be uh, able to play I mean, for free. <laughs> well, the, for if, nothing if, if starting from Back for Blood, if starting from Back for Blood, you just like paid for Game Pass and you get everything, you're going to get Back for Blood. For Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite in like a couple of months apart. Like yeah. that is, and, and, and it'll all cost less than the full price of one game. I still right, don't you know? understand that. That is staggering. insane. I that don't is know Xbox how Canada. They Xbox Canada actually put out a tweet uh, today and said in six months, six games. And this is the following, like coming out, like essentially mm. in, in starting in July or yeah, August. Yeah, yeah. Halo Infinite, Microsoft Flight Simulator for a console, Psychonauts mm. 2, Age of Empires 4, Back for mm. Blood. Uh, Forza Horizon Five. It's like now. Now they're just full steam ahead at this point of yeah. just delivering top tier, like triple A. Not well, not all exclusively triple A, but just right. big budget exclusives for for the platform. And yeah, going back to it, like you'd have to be out of your mind to just disregard game. And Pass and point. I think and I think as well to open up the show with Starfield. Granted, I I don't think anybody was surprised that it's it's not coming out for a while. Yeah, so, sure. You know, like well over a year that we have to wait and it's probably going to get delayed. Um, but like, you know, we're, we're going to have to wait a while. But to open up with a big Bethesda game that a lot of people are excited and want to know more about mm-hmm. and to say, yup. It's Xbox PC exclusive, and also it's coming to Game Pass. That is a power move yeah. by Xbox. You got to give it up for them. And and yes, of course they're not going to put this stuff on PlayStation. You know, no funny business. But they are extremely consumer friendly, and mm-hmm. I really respect that and appreciate that for the people out there. You know, like for someone like myself, I mean, Starfield looks interesting. Um, mm-hmm. But I like Bethesda games aren't usually my cup of tea. Yeah. But because of Game Pass. I could just jump in and try it out. If I like it, great. If I don't, it's on to the next game for me. You know, I, I, that is such an amazing service. And and I just, you, you cannot commend Xbox enough for how great of a job they're doing with Game Pass and how consumer friendly it is. Seriously. Well, I think another great example of that is the uh, the Sea of Thieves update with the yes, crossover with uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. 
which yeah. awesome crossover, it great for rare for, for sense, securing yeah. that. It makes yeah. so much sense. But mm. yeah, uh, Sea of Thieves is another gr- game that I played exclusively because of Game Pass. But as soon as this came up, I was like, okay, I'm jumping back in uh, when when the crossover starts because I have to, right? Like, yeah, yeah. curiosity uh, has got me. And yeah, June 22nd, I- I'm going to be back uh, back sailing the seas thanks to Game Pass. I mean, yeah. And Caboose, I have to disagree with you on one thing. I oh. don't think that Starfield gets delayed. I, I I think Bethesda has too good of a track record of announcing their dates mm-hmm. and sticking to it, and I don't think that they would announce a date if they weren't already a significant portion of the way through with Starfield. Malik, I think that they're giving themselves enough time. I'll bet you drinks for the next event we meet up at that it's going to get delayed. Deal. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll, t- <laughs> I'll that bet deal. you. I'll Is bet it- you drinks on that. I, to be I'll honest, delayed I riot. I, like I need, that. <laughs> I want that game so bad. I'm telling you. To be I'm to be you. honest, I kind of side with Malik here because they they showed a lot of guts to to announce a date, and it's an important date too. Ten years to the day from Skyrim. Exactly to the yeah. day. Oh, like that's, okay, that's significant for them. So I I think that. But I mean, anything happens. But yeah, yeah. and I think too one. One thing that is actually kind of hurting uh, Microsoft and uh, Bethesda in this whole thing is the Fallout 76 and Elder Scrolls stuff. That, because, I mean, you guys you guys doubted me last week when I said they're going to come out swinging and double down on Fallout 76. And that's what they're doing. The unfortunate thing is the game barely works it, it barely yeah. runs i re-downloaded fallout 76 from game pass because i was curious i wanted to hop back in guess what there's some sort of server issue and i have to go into the files and rename stuff and move it around. oh my god i'm not gonna do that like and even on uh bethesda's official site when the fallout 76 forums they say yeah we don't have a fix for it but here's a long laundry list of things you can try yeah. and maybe it'll work and if it doesn't work just try reinstalling it again and like so, that's unacceptable all right so without getting too much into to bethesda because i feel like we could break down the bethesda games um when we come back oh, from yeah, the break yeah, yeah. um okay how'd you guys feel about psychonauts i remember steve I you it. said that it yeah. looks charming go ahead malik sorry come oh. Yeah, you're cutting a little bit there. Oh, no, me. did I cut out? Okay. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, no, I remember, Steve, you said that you were interested in Psychonauts last time we saw it. Yeah, I I, I, I kind of read it a little wrong, though, but I, I was so sure that Psychonauts was going to be their, their shadow drop event mm-hmm. where they were going to mm-hmm. be like, and Psychonauts is available now yeah. or within yeah. like two weeks from, right. from E3. Um, okay. I mean, it looks cool. I, I've never been huge into Psychonauts, but I know a lot of people are, but yeah, I think August is a perfect date for that, for that game. Yeah. I, yeah. It's a cute looking little game. I like, I'm not into the franchise, so I don't know enough. I don't have enough of an opinion. Um, it, that, that is the one, though. Was it last year's where they had Jack Black, or they announced yes. like Jack Black being in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, with double yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember that being pretty cool. So I, I guess, like in that sense, like I'm looking forward to it. But you know, just nothing I'm going crazy about. But it's going to be on Game Pass, right? So exactly. yeah. again, just another game where if I want to just try it, why not? You know, exactly. Yeah. And I can't play Ratchet and Clank, so I'm gonna have to settle for Psychonauts too. <laughs> There you okay, go. that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Replaced was another game. It's like the pixelated cyberpunk game um, that kind of stole, I think was the surprise. It stole my heart. Like, I was not expecting oh, yeah. a game like that to appear in the showcase. But that's the other thing. <laughs> because of Game Pass, right? They show off all these indies that you're just like, what is this? Mm-hmm. I'm curious about it. And you want to try it. Do yeah. you guys like uh, Replaced? I love the style of it. I, yeah. I think I have to see more gameplay, but mm-hmm. the style is is right up my alley. Yeah, the art style is interesting, but I, I agree with Steve. I'm probably going to wait to see more. Yeah, We didn't yeah. see anything from Gears, no Gears info at no. all, um, but we did see Halo Infinite, that multiplayer trail. Oh, man. Are we going to get into this or do yeah, we want to get yeah, into it no, after the break? I say we get into this now because after the break, okay. we come back and talk Bethesda. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 because, want... oh my. Go ahead, Steve, go ahead. No, I was going to say, between the, the showcase yesterday and then their multiplayer showcase today, 
I have full confidence in yep. three four three, and this yep. might this might bite me in the ass later down the line, come November or the holiday, because they didn't uh, say a reveal. But I, they they won me over. They're nah. doing so much right. I'm, I'm all surprised. in. Yeah, I'm all in. Halo is back. Like I'm calling it. It's confirmed. Halo yeah. is back, and 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 it's for one reason and one reason alone. Multiplayer is free to play. Yeah, that is. Amazing. Again, just another super pro consumer thing. Because for me, listen, I love the story of Halo. I love the campaigns. I love the mythology and all the lore. But at the end of the day, what keeps me coming back to Halo day in, day out is the multiplayer. And Halo 4, I said this last week, it aged like a fine wine and ended up being like a really solid multiplayer. And I play it quite a bit in MCC when uh, when they brought it to PC. Um, but of course, it's, it's still nothing like Halo 3 or Halo 2. But then Halo 5... I just have no desire to mm-hmm. jump back into. Same. Like I have yeah. no desire to play Halo 5 at all, but Halo Infinite looks like it's back to form. It is that classic kind of slower paced Halo style while implementing new ideas and new mechanics that don't completely change everything, but just give that little bit of spice to the battlefield, which mm-hmm. I'm really all about. The grappling hook looks like such a cool idea. Like it looks Dude, like so much fun. There was a sweet moment in that multiplayer trailer where it, one player like fires a rocket at a warthog, it flips off the map. And then that same guy del- <laughs> fires a grappling hook at a yes. Vinci, rips the guy out of the pilots. He goes in and I'm like, this is, these are the moments so cool. that I love from Halo multiplayer. This like, action arcadey arena based <clears throat> shooter and it's just so frenetic and energetic that, that yeah. that's what i want and yeah. what, not, what i not do to jump around too much from game to game but like mm-hmm. it's similar to when we saw the battlefield 2042 gameplay yeah. reveal yeah where they just they were like screw it like this is what battlefield is why yeah. are we not just going all in on this and that's exactly what they're doing with halo infinite which i'm all about yeah yeah and, and w- one thing i really sorry like i know I'm, I'm talking a lot about halo but it, they just really <laughs> surprised me but one of the yeah. things that i really appreciated was that they didn't put too much focus in saying look we're back with a with like an improved art design and improved they just let it talk they let that yeah cinematic with master Chief, yep. and especially that multiplayer uh gameplay showcase mm-hmm. too it just spoke wonders and like yeah i i'm really proud that uh xbox and 343 took the this year to refine it because it looks so much better than it does last year i mm-hmm. think also yeah. bringing out joseph Staten to come talk mm-hmm. about the game that was a big one for the halo fans a lot of people were really happy to see him kind of back on board and doing halo stuff again um that little campaign sneak peek was real good i'm super interested i mean just just master chief going the mission's changed it always does like oh man oh, like, oh yeah. I'm, I'm all Kills. in i'm all in just take my money just take all of it yeah. but that also or just take whatever like... my, the price for game pass but that also speaks <laughs> like halo um sorry master chief saying that right it kind of speaks to what xbox is saying to the fans yeah like the plans Fair, change yeah. we heard you we're bringing back multiplayer it's available cross-platform pc xbox it is free mm-hmm. you're gonna enjoy the charm of halo here it is you know um so yeah. I-, I loved yeah. every aspect of that and even like my friends that um don't aren't really too much into halo because PC, Game Pass, they're going to be playing. So it's, it's mm-hmm. just a smart move. Um, and I'm excited for Halo Infinite. I think a lot of doubts that were there has been erased from fans, even hearing Steve and Aaron talk. So they definitely, overall, I feel Xbox, with their portion of the showcase, really did solidify why Xbox is here and, to stay. Yeah, yeah and, and they and just earlier before the stream went live for, for the Squadcast today, they had their little multiplayer mm-hmm. overview where they did a bit of a deep dive. They talked a bit about the battle pass system that they're doing in this game, which I think is amazing. And one thing I was expecting was that, yes, the multiplayer is going to be free to play, but they're probably going to charge you like microtransactions or if you want to buy armors, that's going to be there's going to be like paid cosmetics and stuff. But no, they said their, their battle pass system is like evergreen. So mm-hmm. whenever you buy the battle pass, you have it unlocked at any point in time for whenever new battle passes come up from what i understand whenever new battle passes come out that's correct you yeah have so, it. and then the way that they it's a kinda, one-time payment right yeah. and then you got it yeah and then you have it and then you can prioritize which battle pass you want to grind yeah towards as if you, you come into the later play. season exactly yeah. which is which is really smart i think this is a great way to invite more people in and because it's a title on game pass that means like for instance say 
for any of us really that we're covering a game and then have to dip out from Halo for a bit, come back. We don't have to have that like FOMO of the being fo- like, oh, yeah. I miss halfway through of this battle pass. I don't really want to get back into it. Maybe I'll just wait until the next season starts. No, you just jump back in and just start playing again with your friends, which is yep. so brilliant. Um, yeah, and yeah I a lot of praise three, for this uh, studio. For, for me, I don't know what the general consensus has been like out there, but for me, for someone who is a big fan of Halo, who's loved Halo like my whole life, um, and it's been like one of the first games I played when I was a lot younger. Mm-hmm. It's just seeing what they're doing when, with Infinite. It's just bringing everything back to form yep. and it's building in all the right ways because Halo 5 was doing too much. Halo mm-hmm. 4 as well was doing too yeah. much to try and change the formula. Whereas Halo Infinite is like, here's all the good stuff you liked from stuff like Halo 3. Of course, you're going to have Sprint in there because that's just... That's just the way FPSs are nowadays. Exactly. And they just sprinkle in a couple of new mechanics, like a grapple hook or the way that they're doing, like they explain this in the multiplayer overview, like overshields and, and invis, they're in your inventory now. They aren't sport, they're not like power-ups that you just pick up and you have them and it applies right away. It's in your inventory and you can lose it. Um, that that sort of stuff, like all tiny little things like that, I'm all about. And Halo Infinite, just like in all the best ways, especially in multiplayer, seems to be such an improvement. Everything I could have possibly wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the biggest things, too, coming out of E3 that like, or I guess like just coming into E3 and then as we where we're at now is Battlefield, Far Cry 6 and Halo Infinite. Yeah. All of the trailers were you as someone who's not a fan you could look at it and say oh these are like super hype trailers but when you when you're a fan looking at them and looking at the yeah game, mm-hmm. there is literally no difference between that trailer and the gameplay that you are going to experience mm-hmm. that chaos and all the stuff that you're seeing is probably what you are going to get in the game and i love that because just show us i i don't think i don't think that developers really need to worry so much about graphics because graphics are going to change over time, there people are going to be upset about puddles all they want. <laughs> the gameplay, the fundamental gameplay and physics is what really kind of draws me in. And if I'm seeing something in a trailer in terms of gameplay and physics, I want to see that in the game. Because Correct. I in the Battlefield 2042 trailer, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but they, the gameplay that they showed was the actual trailer. It was The trailer yes. was just yep. rendered versions yeah, yeah, like yeah. from camera angles from the gameplay. Yeah. And I'm really excited for Halo. That holiday 2021 kind of made me a little bit nervous that they didn't give it a, a, a specific date. date. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. scares me. That's the only thing where I'm like, why couldn't you just like just nail something down? Like that holiday is really weird. That yeah. that and I was also fully expecting that they're gonna be like, hey, the beta is this summer. Like get ready. Yeah. But they none, did say that, that after. Did they, yeah, the did they kind of hint that it was a closed beta? It is a closed beta is through closed beta. Uh, Halo Insider. Halo Insider, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. yeah at least it's one something. of those things that like, you expect it to be like a big, like, here's the, yeah. the punchline, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm a and bit. They, and they should have because. Oh, go ahead, Camille. Yeah, I, I'm along with you, Malik. Like, I'm a bit worried about the, that they just put, uh, um, you know, like a time they didn't put a time stamp on like Like one window exactly yes thank you they put a window on when we'll see it but my thing is i feel like they're pretty smart in the sense that hey it's got delayed before you know you cannot put a window there and then delay it to next year so i think they are confident that the game is coming out this year especially because they recently did the delay um and it's just more the fine tuning, the tweaking, maybe changing things that they've got um, feedback on from the previous trailers, mm-hmm. right? They're still just updating those little things so they mm-hmm. can't just put a set date on it. So I am a little nervous, but I have complete confidence in yeah. them. 